The Lord Jesus spoke to me and said that the coming of the Lord was drawing nigh, but that before he came, seven major events would transpire. I wrote them all down, and that morning I gave forth the revelation of the Lord. The first vision was that Mussolini would invade Ethiopia, and that nation would fall at his steps. That vision surely did cause some repercussions, and some were very angry when I said it and would not believe it. The Abyssinians surrendered. Mussolini had done it. He had given Italy an empire. This was his moment of greatest triumph. Europe defied, Italian arms victorious. There was a feather in Mussolini's cap. For 20 years he had talked. Now he had acted. He thought himself to be the great man of war. A swaggering Mussolini strutted on the balcony. But it happened that way. He just walked in there with his modern arms and took over. The natives didn't have a chance. But the vision also said that Mussolini would come to a horrible end with his own people turning on him. That came to pass just exactly as it was said. The next vision foretold that an Austrian by the name of Adolf Hitler would rise up as dictator over Germany and that he would draw the world into war. It showed the Siegfried line and how our troops would have a terrible time to overcome it. Then it showed that Hitler would come to a mysterious end. With staged events, the Nazis celebrate their seizure of power in 1933. But their advance is by no means unstoppable. At the beginning of the year, the brown specter seems to have almost vanished. Using promises and threats, Hitler soon coerces the parliamentary majority to grant him autocratic power with the so-called Enabling Act. Almost unhindered, the dictator pursues the harassment of his opponents. It is the beginning of a reign of terror. The third vision was in the realm of world politics, for it showed me that there would be three great isms, fascism, Nazism, communism, but that the first two would be swallowed up into the third. The voice admonished, watch Russia, watch Russia, keep your eye on the king of the north. Don't mess with Russia. I hope no one will cross Russia's red line. But in each case, we are the ones who will decide where the red line is. Organizers of any provocation threatening our security will regret it, like they haven't regretted anything for a long time. As I stated, there are many, many projects and new systems Russia has designed and built in recent years far too many for me to cover. This topic could easily be made into a full 10-part documentary series. The fourth vision showed the great advances in science that would come after the Second World War. It was headed up in the vision of a plastic bubble-topped car that was running down beautiful highways under remote control so that people appeared seated in this car without a steering wheel and they were playing some sort of a game to amuse themselves.
The fifth vision had to do with the moral problem of our age, centering mostly around women. God showed me that women began to be out of their place with the granting of the vote. Then they cut off their hair, which signified that they were no longer under the authority of a man, but insisted on either equal rights or in most cases more than equal rights. She adopted men's clothing and went into a state of undress, until the last picture I saw was a woman naked except for a little fig leaf type apron. With this vision I saw the terrible perversion and moral plight of the whole world. Then, in the sixth vision, there arose up in America a most beautiful but cruel woman. She held the people in her complete power. I believe that this was the rise of the Roman Catholic Church, though I knew it could possibly be a vision of some woman rising in great power in America due to a popular vote by women. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. Kamala Davy Harris do solemnly swear. I Kamala Davy Harris do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion that I will well and faithfully discharge that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter so help me God so help me God The voice admonished, watch Russia, watch Russia, keep your eye on the king of the north. We're not re-examining the results of the Cold War. We're reassessing the expansion the West has carried out in recent years against Russian interests with hostile intent. Enough is enough. We will hold a gun to America's head. Russia has the world's best weapons, hypersonic. You'd get the Cuban Missile Crisis all over again, but with a shorter flight time for missiles. Otherwise, everyone will be turned into radioactive ash. The voice admonished, Watch Russia, watch Russia. Keep your eye on the king of the north. The last and seventh vision was wherein I heard a most terrible explosion. As I turned to look, I saw nothing but debris, craters, and smoke all over the land of America.